Okay, here's a diagram to help you get started with this. Um, the, this boat is leaving the harbor right here at point A uh, at a bearing of north 29 degrees east. So here's north 29 degrees east takes us this way. This angle is 29. And we travel for a distance of 19 miles. Uh, and that gets us to point B. Now the question is, well, let's do this first. The boat also then changes course from B in this direction. And that's in a bearing of south 59 degrees east. So there's south. 59 degrees east would take us this way. So this is 59 degrees here. And by the way, this angle right here is 31 degrees. Not used for this problem, but I'm going to show you how you can set up a bearing problem on Desmos on subsequent board. Uh, and this is a distance of 11 miles. So this included angle between those two sides is a total of 88 degrees. So here's what we've got. We've got this distance from A to B is 19, from B to C is 11, and this included angle is 88 degrees. You can use the law of cosines. With the side angle side is the given information to find the distance from A to C. And I'll just label this distance from A to C. And then to find the bearing of the final destination from the harbor, we're going to go north and then this many degrees east. Well, we already know that this is 29 degrees. I've got that indicated up here. And if we can use the law of sines to find the measure of angle BAC, we could add that to the 29, and we'd have the bearing from the harbor to the final destination. Okay, north, that many degrees east. To give an indication of how I set up that diagram, <coughs> you can, this is up from Desmos, A equals the point zero zero, B equals... How, how did I get this? Well, if I go back to here, the coordinates of this point B are, this is 61 degrees. If I drop a perpendicular to here, then this distance is 19 times the cosine of 61. And the distance, the y coordinate of point B is the sign, 19 times the sign of 61, okay? And to get the coordinates of point C, I start at point B and add on 11 times the cosine of negative 31. Where'd that negative 31 come from? Uh, right back here on this board. So I rotate in the negative direction, 31 degrees, to get the coordinates of point C, multiplying sine and co cosine and sine by 11. Okay, and then you can use a polygon, ABC, to actually draw that triangle. And here's some calculations you can do. The distance from A to B is B dot X, the quantity, the square root of the B dot X squared plus B dot Y squared. This is how you specify the X and Y coordinates of a point labeled B. And you can see it is 19. Distance from B to C is 11. <clears throat> I'm not going to reveal what these are. I'll let you try that out. But I wanted you to know that these two distances are the same. This one uses the law of cosines. This one is just using the distance formula because we've calculated the coordinates of uh, uh, C has coordinates. 
So you could find the distance that way. They're both the same. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.